It was an idea that I had at a mountain lion meeting in Montana when I met the scientist that lives on Topang Canyon and is the biologist for all these cats and monitors all these cats for National Park Service. And I said, just off the cuff, wouldn't it be cool to get a picture of a mountain lion with the Hollywood sign? He looked at me like I was crazy. And he said, it would, but there's none in Griffith Park. And I just told them, let me know if things change, you know. He sent me a text eight months later. I was in the dentist chair across from the Empire State Building. <laughs> and it said, call me now. I knew exactly where that cat was going to walk because I spent over a year trying to figure it out. And I knew within that confined space of the frame where he was going to break this infrared beam that takes the picture. But I spent so much time walking, lying on the ground, to get a cat's eye view, whether I could see LA or see the Hollywood sign. And because it was a four second exposure, what was behind the cat had to be total darkness. He pretty much stood there for about 20 seconds and raised his head up till he almost covered up the GPS sack collar he's wearing. And that was the image that we used in the LA Times for it on the front of the newspaper.